Expo 2019, um, getting towards the end of the last day. Um, the stand next to us, behind the cameras, is Mr. Helix, run by Riz here. Um, we can see a huge amount of interest and stuff going there. You just can tell me what Mr. Helix is. Well, um, we've been at the heart of uh, research and development of gimbal technology since the early sort of um, days when we could stabilise the DSLR. So for us, I think what the industry, what industry professionals don't realise is that it's, it's never been about just one guy with a gimbal, you know, thinking that we could do everything that a Steadicam can do or replacing dollies or whatnot. We've spent um, a lot of time in research and development at ARI, ARI Rental. Good, you know, big thanks going out to them. They let me house me there for like two years, pretty much carrying out a lot of research and development on the Alexa M, which we used on, we were the first to stabilize that, on Luther, uh, assisting John Conroy. So then we carried out a lot of uh, research yeah. and development on the, the Alexa 65 when that came yeah. out on um, Rogue One. So it's for, for us, Mr. Helix, or our company, our ethics, our principles, our, what we stand for, our methodology, is providing solutions, solving problems. We wanted to create a system that is modular, that can really, from a perspective, work with existing technologies. Um, but the main thing was for it to work and take on cameras that can actually take camera configurations that are required by the industry, not DSLRs. Yeah. So there was a lot of like being a small independent company, being on your own, trying to do everything without massive amount of money. It's been a, it's been a struggle, but you know, I spent almost a year working to solve a problem and provide solutions to stabilize the Alexa, uh, the, um, the Panavision XL2, right. which we used on a favorite. Right. So yeah. I assisted yeah. Robbie Ryan on that, spent a lot of time, say, spent a lot of time, time to yeah. get that working. Yeah. And uh, we've used it on, in, in, in ways, uh, what Robbie said is that we've used it in ways to stabilize, the, stabilize place, position, and move the camera right. in ways you can't with any other piece of kit. So we used it on dollies. We used it inside carriages. We used it with him walking with it. Yeah. We used it in, on tracking vehicles. Yeah. So we mounted it. A lot of it was not used um, in a way, um, a lot of the times he used it wasn't with him wearing it. Right. So it was used oh, in different right. ways. Yeah, yeah. So I think once those things come out, 20th Century yeah. Fox is going to allow us to be able to show yes, the yeah, footage, yeah. show yeah. you how we can use it. Yeah. If people can understand that we're there to sort of, if you want to move a camera from the sky, from, from you know, like a 3D wire rig as yeah. we did on Artemis Fowl. So from a company perspective, we're here to sort of like provide solutions yeah. and solve problems. But so, also, it's a creative process as well, isn't it? Because there's a new language with yeah. this different ways of stabilization and movement open up you can actually create a new well I think what what I think one of the things which is a great misconception and 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 the wrong thing to ask is you know the, the, the wrong comparison is that people can compare, compare this technology with gimbals uh, with, right. with sorry the, the wrong thing that the, the mistake that industry professionals make is that they try to compare the gimbal technology with 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 Steadicam yeah. now the fairer com comparison with gimbal technology is a remote head so yeah. what you've in essence have got is a remote head that can basically you can actually walk around with. Yeah. So you can provide control of pan, tilt and roll to a secondary operator. You yeah. can't really do that with a steady cam. But yeah, okay, you can wear it. But there are more ways to mount this on cranes, on jibs, on 3D wire rigs, on you know, like a, a tracking vehicle. Yeah. So there are more applications with this off an operator than on an operator. Yeah. So that's the thing, it's a different beast. It does have a different language. You can program it to be behaving very, you know, a soft feel to it or a very, you know, a, a, whip, a whip effect to it. Yeah. So it's a modular solution that can be sort of, you know, you could use it to do 360 rolls. Yeah. You can use it to take it off and put it on a shoulder mount. You could put it onto like different sort of uh, configurations. And I think the best way to sort of approach this or, or approach us or think about us is that we're not here to sell you anything. We're here to solve a problem. Yeah. We're here to provide you a solution. And if it works, then, and if we've got it for sale, then feel free yeah, to, to, to yeah. purchase it and we can customize it for you. We can make it work in a way that works best for your requirements. Yeah. So whether you're a documentary filmmaker, you need a small unit, small compact, yeah. you know, we've got, a, we've got different solutions to cater for different requirements. Yeah. So whether it's a big camera, a cine camera, or it's a small camera, we can then basically cater that and service it, support it, tune it. So we don't really shift a box to you we will then tune it. So if you think of like oh, what okay, an AMG, yes. like, like yeah. what Mercedes, your yeah. AMG will take a base model and tune up the yeah. Merc or you know, you get external sort of customization houses. Yeah. That's what we are basically right. in an yeah. essence. And you're based at Pinewood, aren't We're you? based at Pinewood. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got a, a growing number of technicians that are going yeah. out, you know, so 
that's the thing now. It's, it's about basically making sure that we can have technicians that have understand the ethics, the you know set on set etiquettes that that they're not not numpties, yeah. so they're, yeah. they're not going to go out on set and cause problems. The only thing that should cause a problem on set from our perspective should be the act of, an act of God. Yeah. It shouldn't be yeah. our technicians. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, things go wrong and you should, you should have that sort of, you know, uh, problem-solving mindset, mindset yeah. which is very important yeah. and we're drilling it into and, and whacking it into <laughs> yeah. and whipping it into it. And also, you know, the, the respect for hierarchy. The respect yes, for chain yeah, of command, yeah, yeah. making sure that they sort of have that military yeah. sort of, you know, say, take it's, that. It's crucial, isn't it? Yeah. It's crucial. Yeah. Respect because, you know, you can't, you have to be a certain type of, have a certain type of um, yeah. etiquette or certain type of character exactly. to be in camera department or grip or just working in film in general. Yeah. 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 That's fantastic. I want to come down and see it, Pinewood. Yeah, no worries. You're welcome. Anyone can come do, down. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, the other thing, the, the last thing I'd mention is that we, we do also, like, uh, we're not a social enterprise. But we do give back. Yeah. So we, we funded an anti-terrorism campaign. Yeah, so that was a big thing that we did. And really and truly, the, you know, the opportunity to work with companies, the, the years of relationships yeah. that we built with, you know, likes of Panavision, likes with Ari, Movie yeah. Tech and Take-Two and so many other companies that helped yeah. us to be able to produce that. Um, we do nurture new talent as well. So we're yeah. giving opportunities to you know, the, the next generation of filmmakers. Yeah. So we are sort of like, we do give back. So yeah. it's not just about selling things for us. Well, uh, uh, reading that website, actually, the fantastic line that stood out to me is that, you know, the way Muslims are represented in oh the media, there's not enough Muslims in media to tell the story. Exactly. And, you know, this is... It's a part of the problem, and I, I realised that. I didn't want to be a person that complains. I could see that there was a problem eight, nine years ago, and I felt, okay, Muslims are complaining about this, saying boycott this, boycott that. But that doesn't solve anything. You've got to be involved. You've got to yeah. work with people. And if you see that there's something wrong, then go and try and change it. Yeah. You know, if you yeah. think that people are representing you in the wrong way, then go represent yourself yeah. in the right way. And it does take, a, it is a struggle to be able to get that, yeah. you know, to get to a position it, it's, to it's make a difference. It's starting the conversation, because once people talk about it, and converse about it, 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 most of the issues dissolve because it's... Yeah, I mean, th that's the thing. We're at the forefront of that. Yeah. So I feel like I've got a great responsibility. Yeah, you're, you're actually doing yeah, a lot literally. of work. So yeah. again, like, it's, it's for, yeah. for us, even from a company, from an ethical yeah. perspective, from a social corporate responsibility that we have, yeah. is that we are specialised and we are serious about solving problems yeah. and uh, providing solutions on set yeah. and off set. Yeah. So whether that's yeah. stabilising cameras or trying to stabilise community relations, yeah. is still a problem. Yeah. You know, what's the point of living in a world where you're making films when the world is tearing itself apart? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, this is, a, this is something that we are strongly strongly all my team feel strongly yeah. about and in my team if the individuals that don't feel strongly about that they don't even cut the mustard yeah. so yeah. that you know all of all of our all of our team are, are, are serious about film yeah. and is serious about making things and, and producing content or helping us to do that in any, any shape or form to be able to yeah. help on set and off set so that's a, that's an important thing for us I'd really thank you so much for, you know, for your yeah. time and thank, thank you, you for yeah. your, uh, I will come see you <laughs> no worries see you guys soon the story will thank go you. on yeah it will